OMAD is seriously the best thing to ever have happened to my weight loss journey thus far. OMAD stands for one meal a day. Now get over the fear of that one, that number one, that one meal a day. This is the best weight loss tool ever. Here is why. OMAD forces you into a caloric deficit. It's really hard to overeat on OMAD. You can use OMAD to get ripped and gain muscle, but you have to kind of purposely eat more, especially if you're a woman, if you are doing OMAD. The reason why OMAD is so effective is that it reduces your eating window to an hour eating window per day. There are different variations of OMAD. You can do the 24 or more method of OMAD, which means 20 hours of fasting, four hours of eating, or you can do 23-1, 22-2, etc. As long as you are fasting within a four hour window, for those of you who are afraid. But for those of you who wanna jump right into it, jump into the real OMAD, which is 23-1 intermittent fasting, consuming your meal within an hour. Heck, it should be within a 30 minute window. Now, the reason why OMAD is so effective is that your body just knows how to adapt through it. Your body kind of auto-regulates itself. If everyone ate one meal a day, there would be no obesity. The obesity epidemic would be solved. And the most beautiful thing about OMAD is that the adherence to it, which is the ability to stick to the diet, is so strong. OMAD is the reason why I broke through many weight loss plateaus and many weight loss roadblocks on my weight loss journey. I was able to make it to Wonderland, thanks to OMAD. I was able to make it to 100 pounds down, thanks to OMAD. I was stuck in the 220s for the longest time, and OMAD was the tool that got me from obese to healthy, and I'm so grateful for it, and I just wanna share with you guys how to get it done. So. One meal a day diet. Basically, you fast for 23 hours a day. During your fasting window, you can have coffee, you can have tea, you can have anything that is zero calories. You can throw in a shot of apple cider vinegar because that definitely helps crush the hunger and anything that is zero calorie. However, you want to avoid sweeteners as sweeteners will spike your blood sugar levels. So sweeteners like xylitol, um, circulose, stevia, doesn't matter if it's you know, plant-based sweeteners or man-made sweeteners, stay away from them. I did this on my OMAD journey once where I literally had um, some tea and I put in some stevia in it and I was hungry all day. Like it killed my hunger. Now, listen, there is a transition period with OMAD. Please understand this. When you first start your fasting journey with OMAD, you are going to go through a hunger battle. But I promise you, if you get through that hump, that hump lasted about two to three weeks for me. Once you get through that transition, it will become easier. And that's where the magic happens. That is where OMAD will work for you. Because with OMAD, you don't need to calorie count. You don't need to stick to a healthy eating routine. You can eat whatever you want and lose weight as long as you are following the rules of OMAD, which is fasting for 23 hours a day, weighing yourself before breaking your fast, weighing yourself daily so you can understand the trends, and then eating a plate of food or more until you are comfortably this is the success of OMAD because you can literally do it with keto. Keto OMAD is powerful. For those of you who have a tons of weight to lose, I highly recommend doing keto OMAD. It is how I started off my OMAD journey. For those of you who are about 10 to 15 pounds away from your ideal body weight, I highly recommend just doing traditional OMAD and making sure you are eating enough calories. Now where people go wrong with OMAD and with keto, with any of these diets, and by people I mean women, because women, it's really hard for us to eat a lot of food in one sitting, is that we don't eat enough. We get into a situation where we might be losing our hair or we might be waking up in the middle of the night because we're having electrolyte imbalances due to dieting too hard. This is where people mess up diets. They diet too hard. And when they diet too hard, that means they're not getting in enough calories. So there is a point in your weight loss journey for those of you who are very close to leanness, not so much those of you who are still have tons of weight to lose. You don't have to worry about this if you have a lot of weight to lose. But for those of you who are about 30 to 20 pounds away 
and you're noticing symptoms like this, you are not eating enough calories. If you're doing ADF, you gotta make sure you get in those calories. If you are doing OMAD, make sure you get in those calories. And to do that, you wanna be eating satiating foods. Now, if you're obese and the transition to making to the clean diet is difficult for you, you can still do OMAD on dirty foods. However, the weight loss will be, hmm, uh, slightly slower, but it will be more effective than any other diet you have out there because you can literally eat whatever you want. You don't have to force kale down your throat. You don't have to force all these healthy foods. You can go out and eat McDonald's. You can go have a cheesecake. You can go out and have some wings and fries. As long as you're eating that all within a plate of food in a one hour eating window, you will win. So. OMAD is incredibly powerful. I will always stand by it. I will be using OMAD as a major tool when I start bodybuilding. Trust, I will be. How can you do it? There's tons of examples on YouTube of people getting ripped through OMAD. Heck, my coach Cole Robinson is literally ripped eating one meal a day of junk food. So. OMAD will always be there because it is the most important self-check system I've ever had. Um, right now I'm doing OMAD without tracking calories because that's what my coach has me doing. I will explain more of that in my vlog, so check out one of the vlog videos if you want to know what exactly I'm doing, but OMAD is just incredibly powerful in that you can just force your body into a situation where it will auto-regulate its weight itself. There is no way you can overeat on OMAD or become obese eating one meal a day. There is no way you can do it. That's why I say OMAD will solve the world's obesity epidemic. The problem is people get afraid. People get info. They hear things. This study said, oh, if you fast too much, it's going to mess up your cycle. Or this study said OMAD says you can't get in enough calories. That's nonsense. That is nonsense. I am incredibly healthy, minus being injured from a car accident. But other than that, I am incredibly healthy. I have not been sick, minus food poisoning, but that's a little different, since I've eaten one meal a day. So it is so important to just dive in. Just dive in. Do not get analysis paralysis. Just get it done. Like, I'm going to keep hammering this point home because it took me years of following Cole Robinson for me to jump into the snake diet. And it might take some people years to have the courage to actually make that decision to jump into OMAD eating one meal a day. And another thing about OMAD that I totally forgot to mention is how it was responsible for helping destroy my binge eating disorder slash stress eating disorder or emotional eating disorder. It was pivotal in crushing that. Literally, I never thought I can get away from binging, but it wasn't until I actually tried OMAD after watching videos from my coach, I was like, damn, this is really solving my binge eating crisis. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a bunch of yellow hearts emojis. If you have any questions, drop it below. I'll do my best to answer it. And I hope you guys give it a try. If you're trying OMAD, let me know. If you've done it, if you're having issues with OMAD, let me know and I'll do my best to give you my answer. Anyway, I'm sending you guys mad love and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.